Hello to all of my cyber students. Oh man, it has been way too long. Um, of course, we had this pandemic where the regions were at a standstill. Now we know June 2021, the living environment will continue. This is an introductory welcome back video. Um, congratulations to all those students who were subscribed to my channel and who passed the living environment. Um, I am so, so proud of all of you. Thank you for all of your wonderful comments. I want to let you know that I am no longer going to be at this channel and I started a new company called Hope STEM. Hope STEM is a growing company which will help students pass not just the living environment exam, but all of the regents exams in the science and math section. Now this is a growing company, so for now we are just doing and concentrating living environment. And um, let's get you guys started with living environment June 2021 regents prep. If this is the first time you're at my channel, um, my name is Ruth Tavares, um, Miss Ruth Martinez Tavares. I am CEO of Hope STEM. I am a master teacher. This is my 14th year teaching. I absolutely love teaching. This is my passion and I really truly enjoy mostly online teaching because I get to the masses over here. I have an incredibly high pass rate. You're in good hands. I am bilingual in Spanish and English. Hola, como estas? And um, online video recorded tutorial help is on its way. So again, the um, link to this new channel of Hope STEM on YouTube is in the description box. And that channel is going to have a much more organized playlist on taking you from point A to point B and get you guys ready for the June 2021 exam. So what's going on? What's going on for June 2021? So the exam will be administered for June 2021. Now here's the catch. We all know that some of us are still fully remote, some of us are hybrid, some of us are in school. So there is this thing called opt-in and opt-out where you can decide if you want to take the regents or not. Now, not all regents are being offered. The Living Environment Regents is being offered this June 2021. You have to check with your school requirements to see what your school decided on the regents. The school does have a choice of making it mandatory or not making it mandatory, I think. Um, I know the school that I work for, we are giving students an option. So you um, check to see if you have a choice. Speak to your guidance counselor, speak to your academic counselor to get your details on your academic plan. For my L students, this is my English language learners, you need to find out, should you take this exam in your native language? You can go through my tutorials, learn the info, but should you take this in your native language? Also check in with your graduation requirements. Do you need to take this Regents in order to graduate? Did you already pass a science? So the other sciences are um, earth science, chemistry, and physics. Did you already pass those regions? If you did, you probably fulfilled your graduation requirement. But of course, at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, you have to check in with your school and your personal academic plan. What is your graduation plan for you? A little warning here for those of you who are starting to get ready of thinking about college. And this is like literally ninth through 10th grade, 12th grade. So if this Regents is an option for you where you can opt out, you have to make sure you are fully prepared to take this exam because colleges look at Regents. If you took the Regents, they look at it. So if you are not fully prepared to take the Regents this June 2021, don't take it because it's actually pretty difficult to get it to pass with an 80 if you are not prepared. Some colleges do not accept student applications with low Regents grades. So you can have this amazing recommendation letter, amazing grades, um, everything overall, extracurriculars. But if they see that you failed or have low region scores, you might not get accepted. These are standardized exams. They use the regents 
um, they weigh it heavily in the acceptance application process. If you do not have adequate preparation, you need to opt out. Um, the good news is you landed in a great channel. Well, I'm going to lead you to a new channel, Hope STEM, and you will be fully prepared as long as you watched all of my videos. So what will you get from my channel? Please do subscribe. Um, you're going to get short bursts of videos for every single topic. So I'm going to have a lot of short videos. I want to keep the videos short and simple. You're going to get also Regents question reviews. So I'm going to go over Regents questions pertaining to the topic that I just taught in that video. Um, there are going to be some long videos where I take a full Regents exam and answer and answer every single question that you see there. And also uh, in the description box, I will have timestamps if you want to go to a specific question or if you want to go to a specific part of the exam. You're going to have connection to my Udemy online class. It's still under construction, um, but that class is for students who need more than just my YouTube channel. And then, of course, you're going to get current and up-to-date information on the living environment regions. So please subscribe to my new channel, Hope STEM. Description and link is in the description box. And uh, follow me on Twitter, Hope STEM Prep, at Hope STEM Prep. And follow me on Instagram, Hope STEM Exam Prep. Um, as you can see, I don't have much followers. And once you start following me, um, you're going to see that this is all brand new. I just started launching my company. But guys, I am here to help. I wish you all the best. Please subscribe and go to my YouTube channel, Hope STEM, where you will get exact, um, perfect videos that will help you pass the Living Environment Regents exam. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, and I am here to help.